welcome to the voice of the streets uh with me here and gonna guest mambo poasan jina naito a podin ama mrs oma yeah yes yes mambo salama salama hey jina naito edwin yes edwin uh oma oma yeah yeah so karibuni sana asante so cg uh tanzania said yako Mm. I'm a fitness consultant. Yeah. Uh, but I'm also a pastor at the same time. Pastor. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, nice to have you, pastor. Thank you. Thank you. He's <laughs> <laughs> <Nice> pastor. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. I am a business woman. Yes. Yeah, but professionally I'm a social worker. Social worker. Yeah. And I'm also a musician. Yeah. This is VGS Podcast with Mike Wombat. How long have you been together this month? Mm. Yeah. 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 How long? 20 years. We've been together for 20 years, but as a wife and husband. Uh, 16 years, yeah? 17. 17. 17. Yeah. So... Hiyo pati ingine ilikuwa ya kudeta ama? Ya ilikuwa ya kujuana. Ya kujuana. Yeah. So, ni vizuri watu kutake hiyo time kujuana ama? A lot, a lot, a lot. Yeah. Hiyo. So, tukianza na pati yako, uh, what did you learn uh, through that part? Hile ya kujuana. Um, what I understand is, uh, as a, uh, I love using scriptures so you utani yes, yes. there's a part that says two people cannot work together uh-huh. unless they are in agreement yeah. so in marriage it's a work of two yes. so mpaka ujue mwenye unataka kutembea naye so that's why it took time and uh, indeed i think uh, it really helped me a lot yeah. really inside idea yeah yeah, okay. yeah. what did you learn <laughs> me um yes. I used to think yeah. that uh, okay birds of the same feathers flock together. So um what I learned is that no matter how different your backgrounds are you can still tobo in marriage. Yeah. I normally called my husband my village boyfriend because he was raised in the village and I was typically Bontao. So I had not seen that happening. I had not seen me getting married to somebody who was married. So because of courtship and, and, and yeah, I think that's what I learned that no matter your background, you can still cope. Yeah. So how did you overcome that fear? Like, uh, how did you overcome that fear? Like, how did you overcome that fear? With time, the mom na bond mna juana the more you get to to learn that um una learn stories zake and a learn stories zako uh, their experiences we talked a lot i love talking sana sana so i i know in those years that could caught nilikuwa nampigia my story back yeah so when we talk we share experiences i just um i i thought maybe i can try See, see, civilian one may stereotype. It's okay. You can learn people and bond with them and get to know each other, and it's okay and it's fun. Yeah. yeah. So, uko tawa uko mona wengine kamalia tu nde ocha. Uko nde alikuwa town. Mimi kwa nimeto kaho. Maskia na ita village boyfriend. So it means, yana na manisha mini fala mimi nito. <laughs> no, he was okay. He was there. Yeah. 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 See, see, si, fala yani. Yeah. Mm. No, I just say man, I don't want fala. Can you see fala zango? Can you see panga panga vizura kaingia na boxra? But uh, you see, the way what? In fact, my intention was not she becomes my friend. She becomes my wife. We we just met. We used to talk. We meet in church. Yeah. yeah, I was I was a church goer. I was not born by then. Niko na penda duko na kukanisha, you know. And I realized to kikutana we can rapport, we can talk. So that uh, made me want to know more. Yeah. So that's how it started. Ilianzia apo chini. Yeah. Yeah. 
but bado tu hiyo fear ya huyu ametoka tao huko no mimi nilikuwa roho juu lakini yeye pia alikuwa na huyu ni Valentine nayo hapi lakini in between i think yeye pia alikuja gundua ah civil and kuna fikiria vile amesema alikuja gundua could be yes akuna hiyo fala but uh, there are other things with time alikuja gundua there are other things ambazo ziko important kushinda hiyo hiyo background yenye anaona hmm. yeah so kwa kweli ilikuwa challenge yeah ilikuwa ilikuwa challenge because uh, I'm opportunity uh, of course she had exposure mm. more than me yeah. and uh, the little that I had also uh, I'm a, I'm a go getter uh, nikiamua nimeamua I don't go back yeah. so despite of the differences of urban and rural I, I knew that will not hinder me so I I I I continue to be a friend we became that the other thing will work out later yeah. mm. so uh in this ile time na build friendship ni challenges gani zenye zilikuwa na picha ambako una feel ah it's like hapa kuna opportunity hapa hivi okay he's a good friend but nimekwambia me i talk a lot <laughs> so <laughs> me can talk until anaanza kulala hiyo <laughs> anaongea <laughs> once <laughs> yeah, yeah so so yeah part of that I was thinking I want someone who can listen to me over and over over and over yeah na choka and then um I am I am a, a very detailed person so when we are meeting na ko late he's not just supposed to come and say sorry I'm late mm-hmm. and afa kwanza anze ku explain is I I don't want a sorry that is just you know sorry your story ishe i really want to know ulikuwa unafikiria just as leo na kuja na unaona uko late you know and he does not like that so that was a challenge so with time with many many years ameshazoea ku sacrifice sometimes he just needs to explain you uh, because napenda ku explain you so missy ulem say utanika nyaga mgo and then you just say ah nimekuanaka i'm just thinking you are not seeing there's enough light here you're not seeing my leg is here Yeah so that was a challenge but uh, with time to keep our friends I'm learn to you have una learning best yako and you're like we are not going to yeah so nani ni kana kuchomea wewe ni kitu wewe ni kitu gani uko unapenda hiyo time um not really i liked everything about her except uh, that uh, she got born before me got born again by the way before me alipona uh, yo mwangaza mimi bado nilikuwa nikopogeza so along the way as she was becoming we became friends then I, i started now going deeper into a place of if this thing can work into a relationship yeah kulikuwa na challenges mingi cuz nataka kuja nitembelee home yeah reason and best she is kuja home because of one taki kwa na mwanaume kwa nyumba watu wawili so tunakutana kwa barabara ama nikutane kwa church chacho mkifika kuna mkono kuomba mkitoka hapo kila mtu <laughs> <laughs> so so i think to me it was a serious ch- challenge because you, you want to have a friend that you can spend time with sindio <laughs> lakini kwa kia na feel like kuja kwako utakuwa na nia zingine so ana kwa void hata kuja huko so uh, i played that game anyway i did vile alikuwa anataka yeah but it was a challenge okay yeah. essence yao kuma void your time ilikuwa ni Uh, me, I, I was born again na see, see a jokes by the way. Uh-huh. yeah so my continence my talk the way nilikuwa i looked my my looks did not look like the way people are expecting what wamekoka wanaka i looked like a slay queen but nilikuwa nimeokoka and i was serious about it so um, i will do everything possible as a young girl ku, ku avoid You know the the things that what to say my eyes or to za kusoma that is the the ideal for me it was not ideal it was real i was just telling him you will have to wait si umesema siku moja utanioa just wait utanioa tu itafika tu yeah so you know to a man that is like jokes like okay and 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 also i did not allow vitu zina trend you know right now uh, virginity Uh, high trend anymore you know sex is just so kawaida and all that mm-hmm. uh, i can't still say at a 17 18 20 years ago 
it was still almost like that but i had my own principles as a as a young person that um niki fail ninge feel i'm failing myself apart from failing god i feel i will fail myself so i don't want to fail myself yeah so that's the reason why so it kept me going so i was just like it's okay because ali ali persist for long but i was just thinking fine si umesema tu tutaniwa siku moja why can't you just wait yeah so that was the, there was a uh, to and fro to and fro but i was serious i was seriously serious about it si jokes your fear ya kumlose haiku haiku kujia in that process no you see <laughs> I know my husband okay so my boyfriend then yes. was so obsessed with me. Me that school ko hapo. School ko hapo and gonna feel to like yeah plus one and tell you how go. I'm really thinking I'll tajua uko some day like unanisumbua. So ukipenda enda. By the way he pursued for a very long time. Eh? Are you you pata kusema. She was not there. Mm-hmm. Tena nafanya na atika na ilikuwa kutambuliwa. Is it you meet someone on the road? Yeah. Unaweza kumuita asimame waambie na kusikiza alafu akwambie okay naende. Okay somehow me nasikia nimeridhika at least amesimama. Mm-hmm. Unaona? Yes yes. I like to sikuzina hapo anasimama. But hapo uh, hapo usipokutana naye umeaizi kukutafuta uh, nothing you know. So ni kweli yako kwa hapo. I'm the one that held the ball. Ushona vile unapigia ball kwa ukuti na rudi tena unachapa. Yeah. So I did that for a very long time. You know. <laughs> As in sometimes I think yeah. it's not like I was grateful. Uh-huh. Uh, but ushona tu mtu amekusumbua mpaka uko tu like maybe I should say yes to see okay fine nikisema yes so nini ta happen. Yeah. So I was not there. I was just like yeah some day maybe I'll think about it. I'll know. Tajua. Yeah. But by then ulikuwa na mtu tofauti kando ama ya. Yeah, to, you know to me dating dating was not a, a big deal because I'm dating and I am abstaining and so what am I losing? So it was not a big deal if I'm dating somebody else kwa sababu when I know I'm keeping myself I'm waiting for my husband. So it was not a big deal. But yeah, I dated other people before him. Yeah. Ni nini ilikuwa na kupush tu unasema lazima akuwe huyu. Think gonna scare damn me kingian. Ah mungu alikongelesha. No, amesema hako hako bora again by the. Uh, of course I was in another relationship and I dropped it for her. Uh-huh. She knows they need drop your relationship to you okay. So and that uh, one thing yenye ile kwa inafanya tu na feel new you. Uh, I liked her silence. But ile kwa ni silence yenye until you're close to her is when you'll know she talks but she's a she's a no go zone she wasn't let me say that i love what wengi marafiki zake if up to now very unfortunately ni men about our wasiana kuna marafiki labda ni william mata we used to make a na number za wanaume and uh, she she knows how to handle it if it's friendship it's friendship you know yeah and before i knew that me i was just after i just wanted to be a friend yeah, I, i liked and also na uh, maslim shade is kwazi na songesha kidogo so but there was i was not i was not slim i was thin she was she was alpha i was thin that is something i'm a 40 kg very thin hata nikuwa na shanga i was nikuwa na kula pesa yako na na leza ya meka mile yeah so, so uh, many things i liked her structure i liked the character and uh, Though I was not born again but I loved God na napenda Mungu sana kutoka kitambo so the fact that at times she will invite me we go for evangelism we go to church nini that made me feel there's something that she carries more than the other people yeah. then after I started a relationship of course mtataki kutembeleta kwako utaanza kuongea na yeye mambo ya sex at you utaanza you know yeah. unlike to the other kule nyuma kwenye umetoka mtu wengine wao ndio wanakufuata mbio hivi hapo unafuata mtu anakata hapa wengine ndio wanakufuata so i said let me pursue because i like pursuing yeah eh nikiona kitu na kaa ngumu hapo i'll stay there <laughs> you there to say yeah. okay uh, you mention about uh, ye kwa na marafiki wengi wa kiume uh, kuna hii jealousy jealousy wa <laughs> how do you overcome that jealousy ama how do you cope up with it hata kuna wengine nilipiga yote ama juu sikumwambia wale 
I used I used to be she knows. Uh-huh. Him kuna angu ile ina tembea hapo ikiwa hapo juu. So I, I wouldn't want to see someone talking to her. Na hiyo tu size bado na tafuta urafiki, si tafuta your girlfriend. So anytime I'll see someone talking. In fact there's a day I followed her. Paka alienda kutembelea boyfriend wake. Nilienda paka kwa mlango. Na msha vitu. Eh nilike wa nilike uka tu. Jo the point is alikuwa boyfriend wake me I was still pursuing or chasing. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, I'm a very jealous guy by the since that time up to now. So uh, I came to know how to handle it because I came to know who I'm dealing with. Hata nikamwambia amepata na mic ta au mko kwa restaurant mahali mnakula. I will not be moved. I push to it. I stuck or moved. Yeah. So that gave me confidence in her. She she created the confidence in me. Yeah. Na wewe said yako ni kitu gani akifanya una feel more jealous? He used to be very touchy but he stopped. I think ali ali kwa mbaba. Ali grow that is. Yeah. But then that time ni wale wa say una wale wa chali wanakusalimia anga wanabaki na mkono wako for long. Yeah. So I was just thinking kwani kusalimia mtu lazima ushinde hapo he used to be like that unconsciously. Uh-huh. Yeah but ile ubaba ile I think Felicia. I miss him baba. <laughs> Uh, when you baba by the way we are, we are, we have a son na currently yeah. kenya anafanya na ku make jealous sana ah uh, right now i think we flow 17 years is a long time yeah. so tuna flow i just feel bad when he sleeps na sijamaliza kupiga story mm. as you know the way unaongea and then una notice ah so he's not even listening <laughs> sleeping <laughs> yeah that is that irritates me uh-huh. and also yeah he used to he used to care so much about other people mm. than yani angeshughulikia watu excessively until you're really thinking ah yake hapo na ume umesaidia sana yeah but i came to learn ni calling or ni ministry ndani yake so nime adjust adjust na yeye amejua ku balance yeah, so that's okay now So what do you have to tell the young people out there? Uh, especially those who want to marry. If you have eyed someone and you feel she looks like a wife. Yeah. My Bible tells me that when a man find, finds a wife, finds a good thing. So it means that you see a wife in a girl before she becomes a wife in the house. You get me? So once you spot someone that in your eyes and in your heart you feel this can be a wife or this can be a husband then it is good as she said to take time taking time in terms of getting to know what you want to take you see we come from different backgrounds true true you're a kikuyu I'm a luo we want to become wife and husband you are, your culture is totally different from mine true true raised in urban the other one in, in rural mm-hmm. We reason differently. True. I'm 30, you are 21. Our reasoning capacity is different. So having these things in mind, then you should know that you are not taking someone that is uh, will reason the same way you reason. There will be differences. So the time of uh, courtship, ni kujiambia mimi, I'm trying to put myself in something. I want to know well the things that i in her that i can change mm-hmm. and the things that, that she can't change that i can live with yeah. because nikikutana na wewe says as my friend you you will know kama says jana tukono that day we talked about time yeah mm-hmm. yeah i told you me i, I keep time as my friend mm-hmm. so as the person to become my wife she must know that this person time consciousness lazima ikwe kwake then she must improve on that i can improve kuna level like if ikami pia lazima nisonge kidogo she might not really change kabisa mm-hmm. so am i ready to cope with her situation that i do go keep time that is one is she is she someone that uh, i like visitors is she someone that can invite people i can call niingie tu kwa nyumba na mwambie i'm coming with my friends like 10 of them go and prepare something for is she someone that can cook for my friends or ama watu wakiingia ya anatoka so there are things you put in place that ukigundua hizi vitu um most of the things in vitu zenye wezane nazo then you can step out because i always say it is better a broken relationship than a broken what marriage, marriage. so it is time to learn many things you put them together i love nakuja kuambiana that's why people divorce in a very 
a very respectful man abe mimi na wewe naona haiwezekani because of this and this because you've weighed things during that time ukaona vitu hazizi work so it is very important a watu ku ku take enough time to know each other and as she said it's not about 5 years or cg 3 years how much do you know this person yeah okay so uh, the mistake or the mistake young people are making is just to rush in yeah it is buying what you've not seen muna kuambia mimi niko na phone nyingine hapo ipo leta mazeta au 10 nikupatie simu utatoa na ujaona hiyo simu ni kuambia tu niko na simu kale it is not easy isn't it? Yeah, yeah. so it is until you uchukue simu alafu upitie one that's why every phone has a menu hata kwa duka hata kwa hotel ukiendo unapata kuna menu i want fish i want this you get it yeah. then you choose what to pay for you have the money phone iko na features unaambiwa iko na bluetooth iko na what iko what you don't buy what you don't know so time dating time it's time to go through the menu and see Ah hii haina mazee bluetooth na mimi napenda hii hii ni 4G mimi napenda 3G then that makes you buy what you want True. yeah True. so within that time yenye umechukua umekutana na mtu umechukua umemweka this is my husband this is my wife the time you enter into a relationship is when you realize uh ire day na place a USB na mimi natumianga USB most of the time yeah. so you have to put it aside it <laughs> then you go and buy another one that can serve you according to the purpose that you want Yeah and yeah. also yes. in this era ya social media yes sometimes you tend to think you know somebody and because some you'll ask people how long have you been they, they say three years they say tunajuana why because anafikiria anajua mtu out of social media maybe alimjua for long you want to you post and all that and then when they spend time with that person they realize who them akwangi hivi Maybe an andikaga to long posts eh? mm-hmm. but in real sense how ongeagi more before so you tend to think i fell in love with this person who talks so much and says a lot a lot a lot and then coming to 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 know this person kumbe hata ongeagi kumbe ni wale wasewa eh unataka hii mm, story maisha you know so because of this era people are making a lot of mistakes because they are thinking i know you out of the instagram uh, photos i see out of the posts that you make on facebook out of the chats eh? even chatting other than kuongea in real life the chatting also makes a very big difference because kuna mtu anaweza chat a chat a chat a chat you know, the people that are just good with words eh? mm-hmm. but in real sense that is not that person yeah. and when when uh, they say uh, to me to me kwa ile era tuko things have become more easy it's because you're thinking i know this person we we, we do a thousand chats per day but um tukichat saina nikwambie niko poa by the today i'm so excited You don't even know if I'm crying where I am. Unaona so sometimes the the media is 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 an illusion. Iko overrated. And somebody you'll think you know somebody yet you don't even know that person. You see because there are people who are just gifted, they are creative, they are very good with words, but that is not them. So anyone that is courting with an intention of marriage, you must spend time with uh, the real person tangible person let me say that and also for time yeah. and also something to add on that <clears throat> yes uh, spending time together you know there, there's someone that unaweza acha nao kwa nyumba 10 minutes muuliziane sasa poa job iko aje poa eh, family poa alafu dakika hizo zimebaki kila mtu kwa simu because the reason is you are not friends so do you imagine if you marry such a person that ukitoka job ukifika home kila mtu kwa simu yake mna watch tv au mna story so that leads me to a point to say that uh, that time when you must spend pamoja ni kuangalia kama you, we can rapport together can we talk yeah if you are compatible yeah because yeah. not every time mtu akona say i love you i love you utachoka yeah, because this, whether christian no. or not christian yes the the most natural way is to be compatible true you you cannot say i'm going to marry somebody me sipendi watu wenye wako to all over and then i just say we are not compatible but it's okay he's born again he's speaking in tongues he's a pastor you know so i want that one no we are not compatible haita wakataka tumeokoka so people should stop lying to themselves that you know he's a church guy he's born again and i'm born again so that it you have to check if you are compatible because if you are not compatible within few years aki usha boeka 
the ile kuboeka ya you can't take it so you either bury yourself in your work or bury yourself in your 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 giftings vitu tu zingine you know so uru pa kiko hapa so zingine there are people that leave their jobs mtu alitoka saa tisa na ako chini yao mti mpaka saa mbili kwa sababu mwenye anarudi kwake home is not worth her time you get me mm-hmm. tukifika pale store gate naenda kupika anataka afike apewe maji aoge ya kule kitanda kesho amke there's no they are not compatible as she said marrying a comedian does not assure you uh, happiness the fact that ana fresha watu kiona that does not give you happiness in the house make sure that you have your own happiness from it and the best thing you can get it from is what you mta kwa yako so me i always tell people don't marry a wife don't marry a husband marry a friend a friend yeah if you marry a friend that house will be full of joy because mko na story mwa za kupiga shule unasikia anaita boyfriend village boyfriend and i'm okay with it because i don't look like the village boyfriend at the more i shall call it like so but i'm not now you understand so that i can i can eat what do you mean by saying this guy is a village boyfriend because we are friends we can correct each other the way it comes nikwambia tu wewe ukitaka kukasirika kasirika that's the truth and i practiced it in those four through the two or one year before we came in that niki korekeke kubisha as a friend with yote vile anataka au catch you know but niki gundua we are no friends ngikuja nikaanza kukuambia hii o hii hii then hiyo nyumba it is just as she said the right word if you know compatible there's no marriage Yeah. That is the first thing that may consider be most important for someone to to look into before saying this can be my friend yeah. or my wife or my girlfriend. And also yeah. when Christians are told to yes. not be yoked with non-believers, hiyo uh-huh. hiyo of the same faith yes. to me still is compatibility. Si tisa sa mimi niko huko roju napenda God mimi ni Christian and then kuna sasa chali nimependa na ni Muislamu. Of course when it comes to our faith we are not compatible at all like to hiyo in the first place hiyo tu ni shida so that is sometimes unapata mtu anasema to me nimempenda na anaweza change ama chali anajiambia hata slim unaona and all that me always tell people if you're not compatible in the most natural ways acha tu hiyo 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 river if flow mwingine ataka so but i think that's where the fear is like umempata unataki kumlose despite that you're not compatible so you find that people still are forcing this thing to be compatible so what do you have to tell these young people it, w- what is kitu ya force utajua you understand yeah force it until it becomes then if you have to go for it uh-huh. you, you get me uh-huh. but when it comes like let me give an example of what she has mentioned about the religion yes as uh, assuming that uh, a christian and a, and a muslim uh-huh. they are married together yes then guys now you raise up a child um toto mnataka aende kwa religion gani ama ama simame wapi because children don't learn by what they hear they learn by what they see uh-huh. so the moment says elum toto anakuwa na grow anafaa kuwa na jua anaonanga mami na dadi wameshikana mkono wanaenda mosquito ama wameshikana mkono wanaenda church uh-huh. they will see it and they step into it automatically The moment una cha huyu mtoto na guru hapa katikati this is what is causing all these things you're seeing boys are into uh-huh. gayism lesbianism ama mtu anakuambia mimi ni pagan ajui you know uh-huh. because she has not found herself yet because the directions is not given by the mentors the first mentor of the family is the parents uh-huh. so confusion hii inakuja kwa sababu nyinyi amukweka ground from the beginning mkianza uh-huh. once you are in there i can't force her to be a christian she can force me to be a muslim because we didn't agree in the beginning it's like getting a woman in a in a, in a club mwenye amevaa mini umoe then after one month or two unamwambia sitaki kuona na hizo mini what are you telling that girl who uliona yeye ukapenda hiyo mini sasa unataka kumwambia sivae so to her you are losing her market without you guys agreeing mm-hmm. tell her me when i marry you please this cut me na wewe hapana anaingia kijua huyu jamaa stuck on kivaizo vitu so there's a place of sitting down and putting things on the table where we agree this is and inakuja kwa hiyo time ya nini ya friendship hiyo time ya kuongea the woman will look at it and say eh mzee i love this woman but these conditions no a man that is a muslim 
akitaka kuwa msana ambaye ni Mkristo yeah. mara nyingi wanaambia fanye ni convert that is the time at least parents wanaweza kuja alafu kuja kaya hapo apatie blessings why because those parents understands very well that kama mtaingia hapo ndani kama mwilawani kwa hiyo area mm-hmm. kunaenda kuwa na disagreement hapo ndani and same to even the other religion yeah so it's important